In the first video in this series, Bishop Dunlop talks about Jesus' temptation by Satan in the wilderness. Jesus resists sin perfectly. In contrast, our Bible is filled with stories of people who don't. There's Adam and Eve in the garden, but so many others too. There's Noah and Moses and King David, Peter, Judas Iscariot, and then of course there's us. I, th I think it would take me about a day of fasting in the wilderness before I turned stones into bread if I could. The disciples have the wisdom to at least ask Jesus to teach them how to pray. And this is what Jesus says to them, recorded in Luke 11. He says to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us and do not bring us to the time of trial. That has also translated as lead us not into temptation or save us from the time of trial. We can pray the Lord's Prayer verbatim, or we can use it as a model for our prayers. Either way, it orients us to God. It is a form of communication wherein we remember that we are God's creation and God is our creator. We are mere mortals, but it is Jesus who saves us. We need God's help. It's not the goal of the Christian life to resist Satan perfectly like Jesus did. But it is the goal to rely on God fully, to put our hope and trust into the living God who saves us and holds us. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God in Christ Jesus not only resists temptation, but God conquers sin. Through the cross and the empty grave, we know that God reigns victorious over evil. God in Christ Jesus fights Satan and wins. God is victorious over sin, death, and the devil for us and for our sake. May we be filled with the hope and the love, the freedom and the joy of the one who fights for us, the one who saves us, our almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.